All right, welcome back. We are going to um, get another video in here on our series. I'm actually doing this via stream, so I will be responding to stream, folks in stream a little bit. Um, we are here at Winding Rivulet. Ooh, trophy chub order. I have been uh, compelled to go see if I can figure out this spot that someone is telling me about on the comments in the video section. They have compelled me to want to try it. They've talked about, ooh, actually, you know what though? Maybe we should, maybe we should get, let's see, what's our garlic dough at right now? 50 pieces. We should probably at least get what we need to make a couple of them. So that would be wheat flour. Let's do three. Um, garlic. Oh, it's out of stock here. Okay. Uh, what's the other thing we need? Co uh, sunflower oil. Which I think I already have some of that, right? We may not actually need to purchase that right now. Yeah, we've got plenty of that. Um, the other thing I was going to do was buy ground bait for bream. So let's see if the stuff we usually get for ground bait is in stock here. What's up, Amar? Yes, if I do not get called out, which, you know, the way it's been going this week so far, that would feel like a small miracle, but that is likely what I will do next is get some more Skyrim game gameplay in. And then sunflower oil. How are you doing, Amar? I'm doing a, um, doing a sort of, you know, short, controlled amount of time here on the. YouTube account, phishing account. And then just because of the time, I'm running right up to the start of my shift for work. So this is sort of something I can do in a small amount of time. If we get lucky and don't get called in for work, then I will, yeah, I'll transition to trying some other stuff, probably do some Skyrim at some point pretty soon. All right, so I'm assuming Big tree in the water. On the other side of the river was how it was described, right? Let me see. Just left of the deep hole at turning. I'm thinking this is what he means. Left of the deep hole would be here, I think. What's up, Clubby? I'm thinking it's going to be like right over there, maybe. I mean, this is the deep hole, right? And this is the turning. It's got to be what he means. So that's probably the tree that's on the other side over there. So let's try this. And I think he said, well, let's get our, let's get our rods in the water and then I'll look, see what he said. So let's go back to our variant ground bait because that might be more of a generic ground bait that Chubb might not matter. Um, fingers crossed. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. And this is going to be a small, we're not going to clip. We're going to just sort of cast and see where it lands. All right, that's fine. We, we want it a little farther than that, actually. Let's try like 40 something percent. Yeah, that's about right. Now I may be way off, but it just seems like this is probably what they're talking about. But if we don't get any bites, we'll know it's not. 
he says it's at the at the bleak gudgeon spot this is near that bleak and gudgeon spot right where you just kind of sit here float fishing so i think this is probably right i'm glad to hear you're feeling better today amar that is awesome all right and then on my most recent video or was it the one from yet the earlier one it looks like it was the earlier one he also said, and this was compelling information, the same spot with the chub has bream during the night, just in the middle of the river. So if that's the case, that's pretty cool. So that's what I wanted to see. If we can get on the chub here, and then also if we can catch bream here at night, that would be pretty fascinating, so. And maybe I need to cast these a little farther. I guess we could try to clip and figure out maybe 20 meters would be just right at perfect. I'm not sure. 20 might be a little far, actually. Maybe 15, 18, something like that. Ooh, good job, Clubby. Look at all those Satori 22 grams, 10. That's what people are using. That's what's working at Corey. Good job, Clubby. That's awesome. It's going pretty good, Rebel. How is your night going? I don't know. It'll be interesting to hear if this is even the right spot. Wait, is this a chub that's not indicating its own? That would be weird, wouldn't it? All right, let's try 15 meters and see if that... No, let's try 18, see where that lands. That looks pretty good, but it, it, I think that it would have let me go a little farther if I had casted it farther, so we'll try it again. Where did you make money yet earlier today, Rebel? Were you, uh, you at Quarry or something else? Amar says, you got wolf armor and Skyforge weapons working. What is that, uh, what does that Skyrim mod do, Amar? That sounds interesting. Directly into the game folder. Oh, you got your steelhead? That's awesome, Rebel. That's such a fun moment when you finally have saved up enough and get your, uh, steelhead. Corey, wow. If I end up playing on my main account tonight, maybe I'll just give in and try trolling at Corey. People have been killing it. Clubby's killing it. You're killing it. It's awesome. Right, I'm starting to wonder if I'm doing something wrong here. If this is a good chub spot, the bite should not take too long. What's up, Wrangler? It changes the companion armor to high res. Changes sky for weapons to match the companion's theme, adds a wolf shield. That's cool. That sounds fun, Amar. Somebody's got an ultralight lake trout, nine kilos. I mean, that's amazing, but that sounds miserable. Do it, Corey, so good. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll get a little time in Corey a little later. Again, this is all dependent on if I'm out all night for work or not. I want to play a little bit of Skyrim, and I want to get some some fishing in tonight so we'll see how it works out
Hopefully the bites pick up in the uh, afternoon. I don't. I don't really know. We got the one chub, but that's it. You're gonna need a Ladoga video, uh, tip video soon. I really need to spend some time at uh, Ladoga. That's really around the time that I took a break from playing for a while. Is when the new lakes started coming out, starting with Ladoga. Even Belaya, I haven't done a whole lot of experimenting with, but. Sent me the link and whisper. Okay, thank you, Amar. All right, let's get a full cast here at 18. Yeah, we could probably do 20, to be honest. Let me see what this looks like. This is on Nexus Mods. Let me look at this. What's up, Max? Oh, wow. That looks good, Amar. Yeah, that looks really good. Yeah, I'm doing good, doing good. So we probably uh, want to go 20 here. Now, if the bite rate is fairly slow, but mostly what we're getting is marker, chubs, and ides, that's okay. Let's go 20 and let's really cast it and see what happens. Yeah, that's what we want. We want to be snug up against that uh, tree. I think we may have a little more success the closer we are to that fallen tree for the chub. Chub like to be under the trees and stuff. He made another mod that raises the res of all armors called Book of Silence. Wow. All right, so let's go to 20 and let's really cast it over there. I mean, you could even do 21, especially from the back line. But let's see how this does. I'm not loving the fact that we're not getting bite notifications. Now that's definitely going to be the case on Eid. I don't. I feel like usually Chub lets you know when they're there, but uh, yeah, I do that for sure. That looks like a good cast. I don't know which one. I think it's our first line. There we go. Now we're getting to some fish. Whoa. Yeah, it's gotta be a chub, the way it's pulling like that. Starts off one way and then it decides it's got some attitude. Although an eyed could do that too. But certainly in this spot, we don't, you know, we can be patient. We don't run the risk of uh, being spooled like we do at Berg. We can kind of do a pretty good job of staying in front of stuff. So let's see what size this one is, knowing they get a lot bigger. 1.4. All right, we're going to clip this one at 21. Yeah, that's great. Excuse me. All right, so the spot's looking better and better. I thought something else had a fish on it. Yeah. Should be another marker here. So much to my surprise, grasshoppers were in stock at Old Berg. So if you're going to try to do this, you know, get the grasshoppers from Old Berg. I don't think they're in stock here. I guess I can confirm that before we leave, but... I wonder if we do more of a, really a commit to a side. A side deal here, if we'll be able to see the bites a little better. I don't know, but let's try it. We'll go ahead and make some. Let's 
some of our bream mix. We made a little bit at the last of at the end of last episode, but a couple of them were pretty low quality, so let's try to make a little bit more. Chub. Hopefully we'll get a couple, two, three more really good ones here before switching over to bream time. Looks like there might be. No? Absolutely, Wrangler. So I'm casting just left of the big hole towards this fallen tree. And I'm doing this based on loose directions somebody left on a video about where a really good chub spot is. Is this the gudgeon bleach, gudgeon uh, bleak spot, Wrangler? Isn't this where people float fish for all the gudgeon and bleaks for bait fish? Because that's how he identified what location I was supposed to be using. He suggested that um, this was a really good chub. And then at night, it's a decent bream spot, supposedly. I'm clipping at 20 on my front line, front two lines and 21 on my back line right now. But, I mean, so far, I've gotten some so far. You know, for, like, if you're, especially if you're on a lower level account, an alt account leveling up, so far it's been pretty good, especially if Bream end up biting it at, at night in the same spot. Although for the Bream, he said just to go, you know, like halfway into the middle. A couple of bites here. We're gonna have a heck of a fight though if we actually hook into a really big chub, to be fair. On this little gear. That's my biggest one yet.
I think that went up on the shore. I need to check the clip on that middle one. It's a nice one. The nice thing about a spot like this is you really can fish 24 hours a day if the bream are decent at all. It's bream into chub into bream. Mostly markers so far. I think back when we were going for trophy chub here at Winding, I might have been using a little larger hook, like maybe size four or something, four or six. I've still got the eights on these, but with this cheap starter, like low Lacerti gears and, and Asteria rods, I'm a little nervous about getting too big a fish on there. Yeah, 20 meters, about perfect there. Oh yeah, this was clipped way too high. It was like at 25. That's why I cast onto the shore a minute ago. There we go. Nice Cory Char Clevy. So I don't know. I wonder if the bream are killing the garlic dough here. Like they are other places right now. Yeah, it looks like garlic dough's Probably a good guess. I'm also not sure, you know, at the tree would be sort of almost in between the two holes. I feel like the bream spot might be more like this, sort of into the edge of this hole, but I don't know for sure. We'll have to test that a little bit. And that's going to be more like a 12 meter clip. I 
So Amar, once you convert a Skyrim mod like that, could you not post it as a converted mod so other people could use it on the special edition? Or does it not work that way? Oh, really? Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. I guess that makes sense, but why wouldn't you, why would a, a mod author not want to convert it? That seems weird. So in 19 minutes of fishing, we've gotten 10 markers. I mean, that seems pretty legit. It's hard to complain. For ground bait, we're using the um, the old bream ground bait that I made, which has the ground crackers as the base with porridge, maggots, and sunflower oil. So before we unlocked pearl barley, that's what we were using for bream. This seems to be fine with chub. not far now to getting inline and we'll switch all of our from Paternoster to inline once that's available all right you holding out on a good sturgeon spot Nice. That's a big and dead gum wrangler. But that was fun. And we will we'll switch over to Bream pretty soon. I like fighting these little chub. Not a chub. Is that an eyed? Look at that nice eyed. 2.1. That's a nice bonus while going for chub.
I think we do a firm cut off at 2100 and switch to Bream. So we want to see how good the Bream spot is. The truth is sometimes Chubb are a little or nice sort of late into the night as well, but let's really see how the Bream are biting here. Eight days till Division Two. Let's try to get this fish in quickly and get it back out there. Maybe have a chance to catch one more on this line before we switch it over. This is another eyed, I think. That is awesome. What a bonus. Like, this time of night, all of a sudden, eyed are biting here. Yeah, we're definitely going to hit level 16 if the bream are biting at all, I would say, if they're markers. This will be our first bream. It's a little early, but we're going to go ahead and switch this one. Common roach. It's a good omen to switch it. All right. Garlic dough. What are we thinking here? 12 meters. And let's put this one in the same direction that we've been casting. So like towards that tree still. And then I'll put the other two in the direction that I think it probably should be. Uh, that's okay, Amar. I, I think I'm good right now. I. I'm having a really good time with it, so I don't know that I necessarily want to do more modding at the moment. But I will, uh, I'll keep that in mind for sure. All right, there's possible bream. Thank you for offering though. All right, 12 meters, and I think like, in my mind, something like this. All right, let's see if this is a bream. Something tiny. It does look like a little bream, though. All right, we'll keep it in that same spot, sort of right at that tree still. In case that is still the better direction. Let's see if we have anything on this line again. Not yet. I'm going to give it another couple minutes. We've got the other two lines in for Bream. So let's just see what the Chubb line does here as it gets a little later. Yeah, I actually, it's, it's already a game that it has so much depth to it, right, and variety that multiple playthroughs... Obviously, people have been doing that for years. It's pretty cool. The fact that there's so much variety to the modding, even adding whole new companions with story arcs and all that, it's pretty phenomenal. So 2200 will pull the last grasshopper out one way or another. I was hoping to get a little bit more info on which way is better on the, the bream rod, but really have only caught the one undersized so far. 
All right, let's see what's going on. Maybe the chub spot does slow down this time of night. That would make sense, I guess. I do think I remember, though, when the chubs in that one spot farther up the river, where we were catching all the trophy chubs back in the day, I feel like it was best in the overnight hours, but I might be remembering wrong, but I'm pretty sure on that. All right, so down to... Uh, Maybe we'll try a 14 clip, and we're going to try it a little more this direction. See if we can find the bream here. All right, that looks like a decent one, maybe. Yeah. That's nice. That's a good bream. 1.8, almost 1,000 XP. We're getting awfully close to 16. And this one was more like this. So I'm gonna to try to keep these rides at least for a couple hours here in game at slightly different spots so we can get a feel for what's going on directionally. And that's also a good one. And this one was 14 clip and a little bit more up that way, a little more west. Which I think ultimately, based on where the hole is, looks like would be the best bream spot here, but we'll see. There goes another bite. So the slowest ride so far has been the one right at the tree, directionally. make sure there's not just something sitting on here there is so maybe not the slowest maybe I just didn't get this fish bite but everything so far has been really small let's just left adjust this one to the left just a little bit not all the way but a little bit and this fish will probably hit us up to 16 this is probably a level 16 fish here Nothing, nothing better than leveling up on a nice juicy bream. We do have a point. I may save it and put it into inline rig once we unlock that, though. Because we might as well go ahead and put points in inline. We can always use our free reset down the line once we open up loop rig. I think it might be worth going into inline and actually increasing our trophy chances that way with inline. So let me... Go ahead and figure out who this was on YouTube so I can make mention of them specifically because I appreciate all of you that have given me suggestions on spots to try at uh, Old Berg, at Mosquito, and even here at Winding. So Bogdan Sivrik has been giving me a couple of ideas about winding and about the chubs and the bream here. Thank you so much for pointing that out. Seems like these have been some good spots. All 
All right, let's see what this um, what this fish is. This, I mean, how size? What size bream this is? This is the line that we have farthest farthest east still, sort of closest to the original direction that we are casting for bream at ten at uh, chub. I'm sorry, at ten meters. So it looks like sort of anywhere from the tip of this hole all the way into the main portion of this hole here, this three five meter hole, looks to be pretty good for bream. Could also try sort of this tail of the of this hole. It might also be good, but this seems to be doing quite well. Thirty one fish, and the thing is, thirty one fish with a pretty high percentage of markers, and the fish species we're catching are all pretty decent silver providing fish as well. These breams so far are not letting the rain scare them away, still biting a little bit. So if you happen to um, if you happen to miss the last video, we did catch our first trophy bream on this free-to-play account at Old Berg on Garlic Dough at that spot that we've been fishing at a lot. 4.6. It was about nine in the morning. It was a nice, nice fight. Nice, nice fish. But this spot seems to be doing just as well. And to be honest, this is in some ways a more enjoyable bream spot because the casts are so much shorter. So it really creates some efficient bream fishing. And when you add on top of that legit markers during the day on chub, this for a leveling, for someone who's leveling sort of I don't know, pre-level 20, trying to make silver. Right now, this seems like a good good spot. What's up, Rift? Hope you're doing well. Waiting for the Lakers to lose again. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing pretty well. I'm waiting to get called out again, but who knows? <laughs> What's up, Nero? Welcome, welcome back, Nero. Um, this is one of those spots. It kind of reminds me, like spots that you can fish for 24 hours and have good success are really nice. The other thing that's really nice is when you get to higher level, like at Cory or other places. Places where you can feeder fish, have a couple of feeders out, but also spin fish at the same time. Like really solid spots like that are fairly rare, but super fun when you find them. That's what this kind of reminds me of without the spin fishing, obviously. <laughs> That's funny, Nero. I don't really see a noticeable difference in casting anywhere from like almost directly west all the way to northwest. <laughs> Y'all are a mess. Uh, yeah. We just got to get you leveled up a little bit, Nero. Tuba has been actually pretty fun lately. Hey, thanks for the follow. No. 
No, I need to know what it is, Rift. I don't even know where it is. I need to know. I've got uh, rhinos that are just dying to go into looking for some good sturgeon. I saw a Wrangler caught one that was about 400 pounds. Trophy Sterlets as well. That sounds amazing. All right, so let's get a little bonus knowledge here. Does that look right, Wrangler? Top of the C6 hole. So right here, 44,100. 41,107. So that would be here. So very close to that. 30 meter clip. Okay. Wrangler caught Megdalon, exactly. So I need to put a new a new spot there. Check it out. So rhino beetles, mole crickets. Looks like that's what's been is that what the sterlet are biting on as well, Rift? Honestly, I would rather catch trophy sterlet than the megalodon just based on the stress level although that megalodon must have been worth a ton wow that's some good silver rift mostly mole okay so maybe one rhino two mole one rhino and two moles walk into the bar yeah but I don't know if you can keep up with my uh, chub bream spot here I got you. Well, in my third rod, of course, I got to do garlic dough just to try to catch a few bream, right? Sorry to hear that, Nero. I hope you've got other fun things going on. If school is treating you well. I tell you what's been fun to me for me is playing special edition of Skyrim. This is my first really first time I've really gotten into Skyrim. It's been pretty amazing. Nah, these little Lacerties, they make you feel like you got a trophy when you don't. It's a nice one though, I bet it breaks the three kilo bar mark. Nope, 2.5. Maybe that's what you need to do, Nero. Create an alt account and experience the reconnect with the joy of Russian fishing for at low levels. done quite well in this spot so now the question is what time do we transition back to chub i would say the latest would be like 7 a.m if you want to have a shot at some good early morning chub the problem is that trophy bream at old bird came off came out at 9 a.m so i guess it just depends on what you're prioritizing
You got Division One for free. Yeah, this Bream spot is killing it, and it also produced a ton of nice little one to two kilo marker chubs during the day. So this is one of those rare spots where you just kind of make silver all day. Division one's a great game, although this this close to Division two come out coming out, I've had a hard time getting back in and playing Division one. That's interesting. Let's see if that's a trend or an aberration. Also, that all of a sudden the bream got a little smaller. It's a little early for it to be. Too small, but we'll see. Quick bite still. Yeah, it's a nice one. I figured that was an aberration. This is going to be some really good silver. I guess since. I don't think winding pays quite as good as old bird, but still for this level, this is going to be a nice, a nice session. <laughs> Nate, so what's up? Welcome back to the stream. I had a little help from my friends finding this spot. This is a great spot. This is this is fun if you're lower level or you know someone that's lower level trying to earn some silver and XP. They got to be able to get to Old Bird though because you need to be able to purchase grasshoppers for the chub during the day. Although I'm sure you could still catch a few off of um, maggots and casters and stuff like that. But The grasshoppers do really help, and then garlic dough at night. Yeah, 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 it's a good spot. It's a good spot. That bream spot I've been doing lately on my on this video series on YouTube um, at Old Berg has been tremendous. I caught my first trophy bream on this free-to-play account there, and then this spot seems just as good on the bream and then chub during the day, which is another nice fish to be catching and a lot less a lot less chance of getting spooled or destroyed here on winding than old bird especially with that spot that rotates back behind that island across the across the river or the lake That's a nice one. Nice and fat. Look at that marking. Nice dark markings. Almost three kilos. All right. So I'm going to start slowly switching some of these lines back over to Chubb because I do want to kind of check for just a little bit longer 
what this spot is like early in the day because by the time we got here it was a little later than this. He asked you about Bream from three days. Yeah, no, this seems to be a good one, especially if he's not to Old Berg yet. But even if he is, it's probably worth coming back to this spot for right now. Just the bite rate has been tremendous through the night. All right, let's switch another one over to grasshoppers, though. Let's, let's test this. And then we'll wrap this episode up. All right, so back to 20, 21 meter clip for the chub spot, straight at that fallen tree. The bite rate is not as good as the bream, but it's solid markers, almost every fish. The bream spot at Berg is dead. I caught my trophy today, so if it's dead, it's dead. It's dying. It died recently. I, I'll show you the one I'm talking about to make sure we're talking about the same thing. Uh, now he does have to have access to garlic dough, but it's the one that's down here, right, casting towards the left side of the island. I think I was doing 25 meter clip, size eight hooks, garlic dough. Caught a trophy today and was making pretty decent silver through each night. So he may still be on an older bream spot, I don't know. Yeah, 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 that one is dried up a little bit. The 2.5 one is dried up, but this other one is great. I, I just, I think this spot here at Winding might be just as good. And according to what his gear is like, this is a little safer fishing spot. All right, there's our first chub, but it's small. First chub of the morning. I think this middle line is the only one we still have on bream at this spot at this point. So if chubs, if the chubs aren't looking really good this early, then you probably want to stay on bream on all three rides till about 9 a.m. or so. He's okay, you give him all he needs, yeah. I'm sure you do. He can tackle anything. And then in the early evening, we were also getting a couple of nice Ides off the grasshoppers as well. So all around, really good, good spots here. The nibbles are real. 25 meters for the Berg spot is the clip. And you're not necessarily trying to go into that hole. You actually do want to aim 
from there's a little spot with concrete or like rock not concrete but rock that's right here on the shore I don't remember exact coordinates but you're kind of aiming left of the island I, I mean I really think you're aiming here you're probably landing on the edge of this hole but don't aim for the five meter hole at least I haven't been been aiming kind of out in here 25 meter clip Yeah, we're second on weekly right now on, on Bream. And this is my little YouTube account, my low level account. That was from today. Now that's interesting. A rhino beetle caught a trophy Bream at Tuba. If this is a marker or not, it might be too small. Oh, it's an eyed. That's why it was nibbling like that. So we're at 55 minutes, so we'll go just a little bit longer and then it'll be a full hour. On this session. Throwing up against that shore over there where the tree is down. The fish, once they get the bait, they actually don't really have anywhere to go. So unless they go side to side, we're not always getting the bell indicators that they're on. It's a little chub. Yeah, I think I would stay on bream till about 9 or 10 a.m. and then switch over. Yeah, I mean, we're, I caught way more, just comparing to what I've been doing at Old Bird to this one, this spot was better, just in terms of number of bream over a kilo. This spot's really nice right now. But that trophy did come up at Old Bird. like a roach all right let's go see how we did
been playing so much Skyrim, I just I'm trying to pick all these flowers. So 174 silver in one day at this level seems pretty pretty amazing. And that's without any orders. I don't think we got any orders. There is a trophy chub order, so that would be nice if you got lucky on that one. But 174 silver. Pretty amazing. So we're at 429. Let's check and check on the grasshoppers. That'd be pretty crazy if grasshoppers were in stock here, but I don't think that happens, right? Yeah, they're out of stock, and I think they're out of stock of mosquitoes. So you do have to go to Old Bird to get the grasshoppers. And the next reel we're going to get is... This Adriatica, ideally. Out of stock. Alright, since it's free to travel, let's just confirm that that's out of stock at... Um, Mosquito as well. If it is, then we're going to have to come up with alternative options because it's out of stock at Berg as well. And that's pretty frustrating because that Adriatica is, I think, really good value. I like that reel for the price. All right, let's confirm the grasshoppers first. Yeah, out of stock. Okay. Ooh, it's in stock here. Okay, that's good news. So if you're looking for this Adriatica, Mosquito is the place to be right now if you're lower level and can't get to uh, Quarry, which would be expensive at Quarry or Volkov, I guess. So this goes up to 7.5, which means I think we can comfortably use it on this Fantasia. Yeah, should be great. So we'll replace, replace one Lacerti and get a little bit bigger line. Let's go ahead and do that. Let me just make sure here. Hercules is another option. You give up 0.5 kilo max drag, but I think the Hercules is a nice. It's a 345 versus 398. But instead of two star, you've got a. Two and a half star. It is a smaller size spool though. So you've got smaller spool, but nicer reel, a little less load capacity, gear ratio 501 versus 541. So I would lead towards the Adriatic, I think, but it is a consideration. Another three star reel, but for the price, you're getting pretty expensive here. I think we're going to go with Adriatica, at least on this one. All right, let's check something. So how much is this Hercules here? 398. Let's jet back to winding. I love this free travel on these lower level lakes. I'm really glad they did that. Three ninety eight, so same price here. All right. So we want to get line that maybe goes up to about seven kilos, and go ahead and get a bigger spool of it. Yeah, 
I don't know if we want 7.5. We could do 6.8. Although, let's see. If we're still going to use our... 5.4 fluorocarbon liter, which really, it would make sense to go up to the six something. Which is I think what we would do. We save a lot of silver by not by doing the exact same line. And as long as we're gonna have a leader on there, I'm comfortable doing that. I think that's what we'll do. We've still got the 5.4 liter, but I think old Berg has the six something in stock, so we'll replace that eventually. Get a little bit stronger leader so we can really, um, take advantage of the stronger reel we night we now have that looks pretty cool i think i really have been impressed with this rod it's a little more expensive but it's kind of an in-betweener feeder rod instead of going with three of the um asterias we got two of them and then went to this so it's sort of that way we don't have to replace it as quickly but that's gonna be a nice little setup there That's gonna be fun. So I think for next session, we may go ahead and bite the bullet, travel to Old Berg, purchase whatever we can afford. How much silver do we have? Maybe we'll do one more fishing session first. And because we need to get some more, we'll have to buy some more, um, some more of those soon. Grasshoppers, if we're gonna keep fishing this spot. And we'll pick up the leader while we're there. But for now, we are good. Alright, so this is going to end the YouTube video.